Green Bay police say one of its officers did nothing wrong when he shot and killed a man last month. And police also say this isn't the first time that officer has been involved in a deadly shooting. Good evening, everyone. This afternoon, Green Bay police revealed the results of an internal investigation they were doing into this December incident. 63-year-old Daryl Vanden Heuvel is the man who died in the shooting. Police say officers found Vanden Heuvel with a gun in the underground parking garage of his estranged wife's apartment on Capitol Drive. Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz takes us back to that day, including the call from the officer involved. Shot fired, Road Rescue, what's suspect down? 1499 Capitol. Officers are fine. Green Bay police say that was Officer Clint Beguin radioing for help. He had just fired 10 rounds at Daryl Vandenhuvel in this parking garage. Shortly after, Vandenhuvel was pronounced dead. After the investigation was completed, it was turned over to the Brown County District Attorney's Office, who cleared the officer of any wrongdoing. Beguin has been with the department four and a half years. He's an Army veteran who served in Iraq. Beguin was also cleared in a deadly shooting in 2011. It happened outside the Packer Stadium Lounge on South Broadway. This latest incident started when Van Heuvel's wife called 911. He was filed divorce papers and he's not supposed to be near my building. Okay, take a deep breath, give your doors back. <laughs> my friend's divorce lost but I don't know if he's going to say how, how do you know that he's there? I was looking out the people and he came right up to my door. Authorities say Beguin and another officer arrived, found Van Heuvel and asked him to put his hands up several times. He refused and reached for a gun. That's when police say Beguin fired. A tenant of one of the uh, apartments above the garage said she heard someone yelling hands shortly before she heard several loud bangs. Beguin was put on administrative leave with pay. However, since being cleared, he has returned to work. In Green Bay, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Police also say Vanden Heuvel's wife had called them three times in the month before the shooting, claiming he was following her.